Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 13 of the Dwarf Fortress tutorial. We've still got a lot of building and digging to do before I can cover the things like the moats and, and, and whatnot. But, uh, we've also got the, the, the floor at the top of the ceiling here going well and uh, building these fortifications. Eventually we'll, we'll build another level of walls on top of the blue stuff so we can have Dwarf stand on top of the yellow and shoot out through the blue. Um, but until then, we are going to cover some mechanisms. Now, mechanisms are constructed in this me mechanics workshop down here. I've constructed two of them. And uh, what you want to do is hit A and make a rock mechanism. Don't worry about traction vents yet, but right now all the mechanics workshop is is for making mechanisms. I've made three of them, um, but just for you can make a bunch of them ahead of time if you want. Um, just three for now because I don't want my mechanic to get uh, too bogged down. I should also notice my... Uh, I've got these workhouse uh, shapes that I've, I've loved in previous lessons, and I've made them, I've put two of each type of workshop uh, within, and these stockpiles, if you go over them, like say this one for the fishery, I've also custom selected it, so this one will only use store unprepared fish, and uh, you can do this, it's, it's pretty complicated, the actual menu, but E and D to enable, and then B and A to allow or block all uh, up here and then P and F uh, to actually permit or forbid an individual item on this list and then going over further and hitting enter on uh, on, on these side ones just to specify a toggle a, a specific one as well as down here uh, U to uh, toggle prepared or unprepared food it's it's a lot of work just to uh, just to go about <laughs> setting that up but as you can See, I, I don't think I know that barrel's empty, but I've got a lot of areas where I've got the plants ready to be cooked or, or ready to be brewed and 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 whatnot, wood ready to be uh, crafted into uh, whatever, and gems sitting around, so I can have this booming industry by putting all the uh, the input materials uh, right next to the actual workshop. Um, my merchants have left; it's fine, but uh, I've got some mechanics. I've already got one, and looks like a. He just constructed a second. I can build this uh, lever now. I hit B and go down to the traps slash levers uh, section right here with capital T. Uh, there's a few traps in here. I will cover all of these, but for just now we just want the lever. It's kind of the uh, the only non-trap right in here. It just was bundled with it. And we're going to build a lever down here and just use one of the mechanisms we've constructed. Now, levers allow you to change the state of uh, certain buildings and this is very good because you can have your dwarfs uh, pull levers uh, to do whatever nasty things you want and we have this uh, expedition leader here just with the final agreement um, so even though I this is what they want um, in the previous part I picked up what I want but they've set the priority and we could make a boatload of cheese and come away with millionaires because they they're almost willing to pay twice the amount for cheese so it's good to know um, but only the dwarfs will uh, will have that agreement. So you have to wait till next year before you can trade with them again. And uh, and it's it's not. I don't think it's really worth uh, following because the the elves and humans will come and uh, and they don't have this uh, agreement, uh, this formal agreement with you. Now this mechanic is taking one of the mechanisms to construct a lever. It just requires one mechanism to construct a lever. And once it, can, once it is constructed, you uh, specify what it does by hitting A to add a new task. Oh god, sorry, I'm all over the place. But uh, instead of actually constructing some, uh, something, this uh, A menu allows you to link up with, uh, with something. So here we go, we hit F to link with the floodgate, because we want a floodgate. Now this, uh, this selection is kind of bugged, because it will actually show you the, uh, pre the previous menu Z level. So we have this bauxite mechanism here in the top uh, left corner. But say we uh, select one that's actually not on that level. So this bottom one here is not on that level. We hit up to go to it, and you actually won't see this floodgate because we're on this top level. And the only way we would see which one we've selected is to uh, go pick another one that's on the same level and then go back to it. It's really, really bugged. But uh, it should be a simple fix, and hopefully they will uh, uh, do it. Uh, this floodgate we want to use is actually the bottom one of the list because it was the last one constructed. This is chronological. Um, and we will hit it and it requires two mechanisms to uh, link up something. One for the trigger, uh, one for the lever and the other for the actual building. And uh, with that selected we'll have the mechanic go off and uh, link them together. 
uh, whatever is free, which he should be free because he uh, he's doing it right now. He's just a milker. That's he's in fact he's just a novice milker. He's pretty useless. Um, while that's waiting, um, we're going to have a, a hospital here soon, and going to have a well in the corner um, of each of these rooms, but for, primarily for the hospital because uh, uh, injured dwarfs will only drink water, so it's really good having a close water supply, especially for uh, cleaning them off and uh, using the water for tasks. So, as you can see, uh, we have it right there is where we're going to put the well, and you go down a level, and that's exactly where our aqueduct is. So we'll be able to leech off the water uh, from our, for our aqueduct and uh, and be able to clean off our dwarfs. Now, the mechanic constructed it. He just uh, constructs part one and then part two. Um, hit A, and then capital P to pull the lever. And this will tell any idle dwarf to pull the lever at the nearest convenience. And bam, that guy was quick. And you can see the floodgate has opened. Now, uh, you want to close it, you just uh, pull the lever again. And uh, and somebody will go do it. Oh my god, you dumb cat. So the cat, <laughs> the cat went on the other side, but fortunately this hasn't been blocked off yet, so the cat can actually get up through here. Uh, but, but this is a dumb cat. Cats, cats, uh, cats will do that. They are uh, actually programmed to run into any uh, new area in the uh, games. So they will check out. They are curious, like a cat. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got the, uh, I've got everything set up and going. Uh, should be fine. I've got some bedrooms going up downstairs. I think I have enough time to uh, to cover another noble we haven't done before. We hit N, and uh, and we want to set a manager uh, for now because he will make building things a lot easier. And trust me on this. So hit Enter and find a manager. You want somebody who is an organizer. In this case, it's our expedition leader. Um, managers also, like bookkeepers, require an office. Um, so you, you, you he just wants a meager office. Uh, we'll have to build that now. Oh, don't 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 do I need those tables and chairs. Um, yeah, get rid of that chair. And hopefully they will take those back because I, I I just need a, a table and chair to make this office. But uh, managers uh, give you access to a new menu. Um, the menu is found by uh, J the job list. And then down here for a manager, looks like we've got some suspended constructions for the M for manager. And this allows you to set up orders. Now it's a bit hard because you actually have to know what is constructed, uh, like what you need, but once you know that, oh, this is what a rock door is or this is what everything, this is very helpful. Now before I show you, I've got some bedrooms down here that need some beds and some, and some doors to go along. We've got, uh, I think, 16 bedrooms right here. Uh, let me just count quickly. Yeah, 16. Uh, so what we do is go back to JM. Sorry, I hit that. I'm so used to hitting it uh, quickly. JM for manager. Hit Q for new order. And we want, this is a search uh, area. We could go through manually all of them, but what you actually want to do is just type in what you want. So we want a bed. And construct bed is the option. Hit enter. And choose how many you want. We want 16. And we also want uh, rock door. We want uh, 16 rock doors. And uh, just like that, it will be put in. Uh, once the manager gets around to uh, actually getting his office set up, um, he will uh, he will be able to uh, manage all the orders. But uh, by default, these will go automatically. But eventually, the manager will have to approve them, and you'll see an X and a plus over there. And and the manager will have to do his uh, orders before he will uh, actually put the uh, put the, um, the the construction in place. But you see the carpenter's workshop automatically it's set to construct beds. That was not me, that's the manager. And if you actually go to the Mason's workshop, now they're constructing some doors in between these uh, tables and thrones, which I'll I'll cancel because now I can make the rest of the tables and thrones with the manager's uh, menu. And uh, that's all for now. I will cover um, the rest a bit later. I, I suppose that's, that's the most obvious way of putting it, but I'm very bad with these sign-off uh, statements.